today another teaching class na sasabihin a uh, ile lecture ko sa inyo regarding um responsible parenting so today we want to talk about mga toddlers niyo mga older babies niyo babies na nag-start ng mag-crawl na baby started jumping around baby starting walking around um standing crawling jumping ito yung mga active uh, activities ng mga babies niyo infant and toddlers niyo na or toddlers na running around na or some older babies na minsan tapos nang nagko-crawl then starting to climb around then jump around so ito yung mga behavior ng mga babies niyo na kailangan niyo talagang i-supervise okay um kalimitan sa mga nanay who are staying home nakikita niyo itong mga behavior na ito every day sa mga older babies i was a stay home mom for seven years until na grade 1 yung anak ko talagang nagtiyaga ako stay home mom for seven years bago ako naging nurse okay so nakikita ko ang ang first crawl ang first uh, taob ni baby um naki, na, nakita ko ang first crawl ni baby ng baby ko nakita ko ang first walk ng baby ko nakita ko narinig ko ang unang salita ng baby ko nakikita ko ang unang running motion ng baby ko so nakikita ko yung lahat because i was a stay home mom okay so kalimitan ngayon mga nanay your 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 nanay and then you're working so some of you probably lalo na may mga toddler may mga maliliit kayong babies ngayon some of you pa, parang hindi niyo makikita lahat-lahat yung mga na-observe ko sa babies ko dahil stay home mom ako so for some of you who are stay home stay home mom at nakikita nito mga active activities ng mga babies nyo. You need to learn something about safety. Ano yung safety na kailangan nating malaman para maging uh, kahit active ang baby ninyo, safe pa rin ang baby nyo inside your home. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do to protect your baby from any danger at home? Number one. Pag si baby nyo nag-started ng mag-roll, mag rolling, normally itong rolling na ito, may mga babies nag-start ng even early as 4 or 5 or 6 months. Depende again sa development ng baby nyo. Babies who are born preterm, based on study, mas delayed yung, yung development nila. Maybe delayed ng weeks, maybe delayed ng months. So may mga babies din na preterm na masusurprise ka lang na 4 months or 5 months, kayang-kaya nilang mag or mag -roll. So, remember, safety is what you really need at home. Bed, bed safety, crib safety, safety kung ano yung mga upuan nyo, couch nyo, na doon nyo, uh, doon mag, mag, uh, mag practice ng lakad si baby. It's very important that you supervise every as much as possible every movement ng baby new inside the, ho the house now kung my caregiver kayo let's say most of you probably gonna be going back to work okay yan ang buhay natin ngayon eh kailangan talagang si nana at si tatay magtrabaho okay so you need to make sure that you also train your caregiver either katulong nyo, kasimbahay nyo, in-laws nyo, whoever is taking care of your baby. You need to train and teach them on how to supervise to promote safety. Safety talaga ang kailangan natin. Now, if your um, little, little, little in, uh, baby starting to climb, crawl, make sure na walang anything small objects sa sahig sa panig sa kama na kaya nilang isubo dahil itong mga babies na to when they start crawling and they feel something or they see something sa sahig or anywhere it always goes to their mouth ganun talaga 
Anything almost goes to the mouth. So, kailangan yung talagang supervise. So, how are you gonna do this for safety? If the baby is trying to go to bababa ng hagdan, crawling bababa ng hagdan, you need to redirect. Anong redirect? Change the route, okay? Or put something na balakid or, or blockades na hindi si baby bababa ng hagdan. It's very important. Now, what if the baby is starting to walk? Baby, baby who starts to walk normally, maghanap muna yun sila ng, ng ang tawag nito, ng mahawakan. So, either there's a chair na mahawakan nila to stand up, yun ang pinakagay nila, okay? I remember when we were little, um, I I was the pif in the family, so naka, ang naalagaan kung kung kapatid, bali apat, or tatlo pa, tapat. Kasi ako yung may apat pa akong mas bunso pa sa akin. So, I remember nasa bundok kami noon na yung sirang upuan namin na made of rattan, yun ang um, hahawakan ng maliit kong kapatid na just starting walking at yun ang itutulak niya everywhere he goes. Like this, like this. Using that old rattan chair. So, Kailangan nyo talagang para hindi madapa, para hindi masaktan, hindi mabalian ng ulo or maba, neck or, or ma, mas, ma, magasgas yung mukha, madapa. Kailangan nyo talagang i-guide yung babies nyo na nag start ng walking because they want to move. At the age of around maybe 10, 11, my son starting to walk at the age of 11. My son was a really fast walker. Like his growth and development was just so fast. 11 months old, he was already walking, starting to run around at 11 months. Some kids, probably 12 or even 13 months, they're starting to walk. So it's very important na kailangan yung talagang monitor nyo lahat ng galaw ng mga anak nyo as much as possible. It's a lot of work. Believe me, sa experience ko, um, pinaka most active behavior talaga is around, around 9, 11 to 12. Kasi doon na talaga tumatakbo yung anak ko eh. Kahit sa ang sulok siya tumatakbo. Talagang sinusunod ko nila. So, for me, having a peace of mind na walang mangyayari sa baby ko, kahit nasa kusina ko, at siya ay tumatakbo doon sa kwarto niya, I make sure na kahit sa hallway pa lang, sa sala pa lang namin, wala nang mga mga nakabalakid, the, the, the chairs are are push in doon sa uh, under the the table, um toys niya, I make sure that uh it's out of the way and I make sure na pag pupunta siya doon sa sa kwarto niya, lahat ng gamit niya sa kwarto, nakaayos. So, here's the thing. If your home is messy, meaning maraming kalat, maraming cutters, yun ang mga dangers sa mga babies ninyo na nagsimula pa lang mag-crawl, mag-jump, mag tumatakbo, naglalakad. So, make sure that your home is, as much as possible, organized. Walang kalat. Kasi pag makalat ang mga gamit nyo, doon na mangyayaring na nasugatan yung anak nyo sa noo kasi nadapa and then may, may ano pala doon, something in the floor na hindi nyo, hindi nyo tinago. So, it's always good to before you bring, before you even go to sleep at night, lahat ng toys, lahat ng toys, set aside a box. Always, I always have a box a toy box, kung, kung hindi nyo kaya bumili ng toy box, find something kahit anong karton na gagamitin nyo na as a toy box. Everything must go into the box. At iyon din ang tituro nyo sa anak nyo, okay? Show them na you're picking up the toys before you go to bed and put it in the box. Dahil kailangan nyo talagang turuan yung anak nyo paano maging organized. Because again, as I said this before, when they go to school at hindi susunod sa teacher, mapapahiya kayo. Mapapahiya kayo sa behavior ng anak nyo. So, 
always make sure that you clean your whatever clutter you have on time. Okay, on time. Let's say before having a nap. Kung ano yung, kung, or, or have, ha, while your kids is, is having a nap, meaning natutulog sa hapon or, or tanghali, do something, do some cleaning at home para hindi kayo may stress. Kasi mahirap yung magulo yung anak nyo at tapos magulo pa yung bahay nyo. So, it's always good na kahit ganong, I remember this, I always remember this with my mother. Lagi kong in-example sa inyo yung mother ko kasi ang mother ko very organized talaga siya. Before lumaki kami na talagang tinuruan niya kami paano kami maging responsible, responsible paano kami maging organized. So, sinishare ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga experience ko kasi yun din ang ginagawa ko sa anak ko. Okay? Um, hindi ako masyadong stricto sa when it comes to organizing. Basta lang makikita ko na organize your stuff or things, yun ang dinuturo ko sana ko, the way you want it. Okay? Kasi may may mga nanay na na-over naman, na you organize your kids' stuff based on what you want. No! Kailangan organize their stuff based on how they like it. Kasi sila yung gagamit eh, hindi ikaw eh. So, if they want their their toys to be put this the same thing, as long as they it's organized, in their own way, then do it. Para hindi kayo nag-aaway, para hindi kayo nagtatalo, kasi mahirap yung you're always dictating them what you really want, but sometimes hindi nyo naiintindihan kung ano yung gusto talaga nila. So, give and take. Give and take talaga. As long as you are, you have one goal is to teach them safety, to teach them how to be organized, to teach them how not to be messy, Kasi mahirap ang buhay pag hindi marunong maglinis sa sarili nila itong mga maliliit yung anak. Because when they grow up, doon na sila mahirapan dahil they're working, they're studying, they're, they have so many things in their mind and then magulo ang, ang bahay nila, magulo din ang buhay nila. So, I hope you learned something from this video. Please do your comments. Tell me what you want me to teach you about your kids. Teenagers, anything goes with me dahil maisishare ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga pinag-aralan ko, mga experience ko with my kid growing up in a western country dahil iba't iba, ibang, ibang iba talaga yung disiplina dito sa western country as compared to the discipline we have at home. So, pero kasi ako, Pinoy pa rin ako, gali ko, I make sure na kung ano yung natutunan ko when I grew up, Yun din ang some of it tinuturo ko sana ko but not all of it dahil again pagbabasihan mo rin kung ano yung mga environmental factors kung ano yung classing society na na napapaligiran ng anak mo kasi hindi lahat ng kinalakihan mo nung maliit ka pa na kayang ituro mo ngayon sa mga anak mo iba ng mundo ngayon ng mga bata ngayon so, we have to base our teaching kung ano yung mundo ngayon para hindi sila mahirapang mag-adjust, okay? Hindi natin pwedeng idiin lahat kung ano man yung how we grew up before at gagamitin pa rin natin lahat yun now. We can use some, we can modify some, pwedeng baguhin natin ng konti, pero hindi lahat. Kung ano man yung pinanggalingan natin na pwede nating sabihin ngayon sa mga anak natin, oh, kami noon, natutulog kami na ganito, ganito, ganito. No, iba na ngayon ang mundo. So, we have to base it from what you have at home, what you have in your society, pero kailangan talaga natin i-guide ang mga anak natin. So, thanks again for watching. Please do like this video, share this video, and continue to subscribe. Again, marami kayong matututunan sa akin when it comes to responsible parenting. Thanks for watching.